Hey, what's going on everyone? This is uh, Greg Helbeck here. I just want to share with you guys a little lesson that I learned uh, on a property that we did about a month ago. Um, it's a pretty interesting story, so I'll try to keep this you know, relatively short, but I want to kind of pull out a few lessons that I learned um, that I can kind of share with everyone else. So if you guys ever get in a situation like that, you know, you can uh, capitalize on it. So we got a property, uh, this is originally about four or five months ago, I would say, and it wasn't the greatest deal um, from the start. So we ran the numbers and the area wasn't a really good, um, really wasn't a great area. So we didn't want to pay that much for the property because we knew we'd be taking a risk. You know, anytime you're buying in an area where, you know, it could be a, a dangerous spot, you're always taking an additional risk. So um, we originally made contact with the owner, you know, expressed that we wanted to buy it, but we were a little reluctant to, to make an offer. Um, so anyway, we ended up following up with him and we probably followed up with this guy for, I would say, a solid three, three consistent months. We were trying to get this guy to sell us the house eventually because once we started following up, we're like, man, we're so invested in this thing, you know, we might as well just, just buy the house. So after like three consistent months of follow-up, we, we actually got the property at a really good price. So this is kind of the dilemma that we ran into. So the reason we got the property at a really good price is because... The home, the original homeowner's um, brother was actually living in the property as a squatter, and his main pain point was that he did not want to deal with his brother because his brother was causing all kinds of trouble, and he was like, "Listen, if you guys can buy the property and deal with my brother, I'll sell you the property at your price." So we found out that his main concern was obviously not dealing with the brother and he valued not dealing with the brother over getting more money for the property. So we, we were able to get an extremely good price on this property. So here's where we decided to take a leap of faith and this is what the kind of the lesson I want to share with everyone is that we were originally planning on just wholesaling this property and, and trying to find an end buyer before we ended up closing on it and making you know a quick wholesale fee. But on this property, because of the situation with the brother, a lot of people did not feel comfortable buying a property sight unseen with a squatter inside. So what we did was we figured, all right, we're going to have to take a calculated risk here. So we ended up buying the property ourselves sight unseen without, uh, with the, sorry, with the brother in the house. So we ended up closing on this property. We got a really good price. So we knew like statistically we were probably going to be safe on this thing. And we ended up buying the property with the brother in the property. And he actually decided to leave voluntarily. So he you know, found out we bought the property and he knew he was going to eventually get evicted. So he decided to just pick up his stuff and leave. So this guy actually walked out of our property that we owned. We continued to just clean it out, kind of change the door locks on there. And um, we listed that thing on the MLS uh, a day later and we sold it in one day. Uh, for a very handsome profit. So here's the, the moral of the story here. I talked about it on my last little post was um, always have more than one exit strategy. If we were going to just wholesale this property, we would have been you know completely out of luck. But we decided to take the leap of faith and actually buy this property ourselves and uh, you know do minimal stuff to it like clean it out and change the locks and turn around and try to maximize the value of the property. So lesson here, Sometimes you're going to have to take some additional risks. It's something I personally learned on this property is that, you know, sometimes, you know, you shouldn't wholesale the property. You should actually buy the property. You, know, you should be comfortable with taking risks. You know, we, we put a substantial amount of money in the property, but we knew with the money we put in this property, we were going to get it out and then some, which was our profit. So sometimes if you're getting into a situation where you're getting a property at a really good price, there's usually a reason for that. And because of that reason, you have to make sure that um, you know, you're really solving the seller's problem. Like we discovered the guy didn't really care about the money, he cared about not dealing with the brother. Because he cared about not dealing with the brother, we were able to kind of build our solution around his perceived problem and obviously get ourselves a really good property in the process and uh, make a great profit on it. So that was my little lesson from this, um, you know, from this little video here. Once again, the takeaway I have is don't be afraid to actually buy these properties sometimes if you're regularly wholesale. So I just want to share that with everyone. Hope you guys got some value from that. Uh, if you guys were ever interested in uh, finding out how we could work you know, closer together in a few different areas within our business, 
feel free to reach out to me personally. Uh, the best way would be to email me, greg, G-R-E-G, at velocity, V-E-L-O-C-I-T-Y, house, B-U-Y-E-R-S. So that's greg at velocityhousebuyers.com. I'll put that in the uh, comment section below. Hope you guys have a great day and everyone enjoy themselves. See ya.